and then automation. Automation is probably one of everyone's favorite KPI. And it's hard to measure, right? Because, well, ah, everything's automation, right? But let's put some specifics around automation. Now, automation could be things like, do we have a self-service portal? Now that in its, on its own can potentially be a key performance indicator if we really wanted to, right? Do we have a self-service portal? Check, that could be a KPI. But here what I'm talking about is having a self-service portal that actually has some automation behind it. So let's say we've exposed some services onto this portal and as a user, as a developer, I'm able to go in there and make a request for a resource. And then as soon as I make that request, the automation engine that I've created or configured on the background in the background will be able to generate that resource and present it to me. So at least we can start with that level of automation. Now, automation can go into a lot of different directions. We can measure whether or not we are using uh, type some kind of a, an immutable infrastructure, right? So instead of patching my servers, my instances, my virtual machines, I'm constantly destroying them and redeploying them from some kind of a configuration management or, or some kind of an automation framework. Continuous integration, continuous deployment framework, right? So that really becomes then a really good key performance indicator. And you can see how much you can expand within the realm of automation. There's a lot that we can cover, but I'm just giving you some starting points, some things that you can use to get started with your KPI.